Alex Bailey does join us though here on set, and uh, you're done. Your, your guys are signed. Absolutely. You got to feel good. Oh yeah, it feels great. Uh, I couldn't wait for this day, and I'm glad it's here, and I'm glad everything's official. Tell me about this group. You've got five receivers in this group. Uh, what stands out? Obviously, a lot of size first and foremost. Is that the first thing that hits you? Yeah, uh, the size. Uh, we definitely that was a that was an area that we wanted to address in this receiver class. I think we did that, and then also for us, it was just getting the best overall athlete at the position. Um, you know, just to, just to bring more competition there. When you're selling a receiver to come here, Mike New mentioned the Willie Sneed factor. Mm -hmm. And how much are you selling the recruits on guys like Willie Sneed, guys like Jordan Williams, who have come here, Kevon Mabon, who have come here uh, and, and ha had opportunities to go to the next level? Absolutely. We, we actually sell that a lot. Um, you know, when we go into the homes and we're talking to, to prospects, um, you know, and we're talking about our vision for them in our program and, and more specifically at the wide receiver position, it's good for them to know that, there was guys that were just like them, from whether it be from a size standpoint, uh, from an athletic standpoint, or just you know, it might be a uh, you know the way they got here might be very similar in terms of like a recruiting process. And we like to sell those things because those are facts. We've had good wide receivers come through this program, and uh, you know that's kind of where we want to keep this thing going. I don't want to single too many guys out too much because everybody all uh, has their own acclaim. But yeah. two guys in particular, you got very late in this class as well. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Khalil Newton. Tell me about Justin Gibbs and what kind of gets they were for you in the last week and a half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, both of those guys are, are, are huge gets for us. Um, obviously, they feel a lot of needs. Um, they had a lot of uh, uh, offers, you know what I mean? So, they're, uh, you know, they, they had a lot of things going there. But, um, you know, the fact that they had interest in us, we got an opportunity to build the relationships with not only them but with their families, I think play, play, played a huge part in them coming here. Hey, Coach, obviously – Damon Hazleton was a guy who was able to, to come here and get on the field right away as a true freshman. What do you have to see from some of these guys? Clearly a lot of talent. What do you have to see from some of these guys to be able to come in uh, and, and try to make an impact in games right away? Really the same thing that, that Damon showed us early on. You know, um, Number one, just having a competitive spirit, coming in ready to compete. Um, you know, coming in in shape, you know, so they can get out there and get reps. And then again, just um, gaining an understanding of our offense. And really that's kind of the, the recipe. Uh, you know, we feel like they have the talent to, to compete early. And, uh, you know, if they take care of their business, then, you know, it could happen. That was the question I had for you is what are those opportunities like? And what's that window like? Obviously, Kevon graduates with that, mm -hmm. uh, the most catches ever here at Ball State. You lose a guy like Aaron Hep who gave you some consistency and some good effort in the slot as well. Mm -hmm. What kind of windows are there for this group to come in and, and, and get some reps? Yeah, it's, it's a huge opportunity there. And, and, and all of those guys know that. And, and that was another thing that we kind of uh, hit home with them, you know, in the recruiting process was, hey, you're coming to you're coming to a place where you're gonna get a ton of opportunity to compete and show what you can do, and I think that's why, you know, that was a huge part in them making the decision to be here. Can we go behind the curtain here and just how much work you guys as a staff have to put in for this all to come uh, to fruition? Can, can, can you kind of describe what that process is like for all of you guys and just kind of the work that goes into it over a, a year, year and a half? No doubt, it's it's definitely a long process. Um, you know, with a lot of these guys. Uh, I know we got, you know, Khalil and, and Justin um, pretty late in the process. However, you know, Hassan was a guy, he, he was our first wide receiver commit, and that started all the way back into the summer. Um, you know, not only our position coaches working and, and coordinators, it's, it's really a team effort on our staff, um, everybody chipping in. And, uh, again, you know, we, we feel really confident about this class and especially at the receiver position. Alex, thanks, man. Uh, congratulations on the class. Appreciate Absolutely. It, Thank you.